Nobody wants to have a stupid kid, basically. Stupid being low IQ. We want to have children that the good Lord willing will give us that will be healthy and, and live a good life and a full life and hopefully will be intellectually above the chart when it comes to the other children. That's what I think all parents hope for. So when you're looking to try to improve your child's IQ, research has clearly demonstrated that what you feed your child before the age of three will, will positively or negatively impact their IQ when remeasured at the age of eight and a half. And they followed children at ages three, four, five, six, seven to see at what point could you manipulate their diet and change their IQ by the time they were eight and a half years old. The magic number is under the age of three. They found that if you gave your children fatty foods, sugary foods, and processed foods, their IQ before the age of three, their IQ was lower at the age of eight and a half than if you didn't feed them those things. Now let's talk about what a child under three eats. McNuggets, chopped up hot dogs, cookies, all of the things that promote lower IQ later in life. Then you wonder why you get a child in school that has, quote, ADD, or that struggles to stay on task and focused. And that's because you, mom and dad, when they were under the age of three, did not give them the nutrition that their brain needed when their brain was developing. You know, it amazes me, honey, if you talk to any pediatrician, pediatricians will say, do not give a child under the age of four skim milk. A child under the age of four, if you're going to bother to feed it milk, which can be questioned whether you should even do that or not, of course this, the dairy industry says we should, you always want to give a child under the age of four whole milk, not skim milk, because the fat content is so much higher. The fat content of whole milk is 45%, and the child's brain is growing up until the age of four, so you want to be sure the baby gets fat in their diet so their brain develops. So we understand that fat in the baby's diet is very important as pediatricians, but we don't recognize the damage that sugary foods process processed foods and fatty foods from the standpoint of hot dogs and burgers and McNuggets and fries do. And I think it's because parents would like to give their children the finger food that they can pick up themselves and eat. Well, you know what? You can pick up chopped up fruit. You can eat that just as easily as you can eat a cookie and just as easily as you can eat a, a chopped up hot dog. Or And of course, we're not supposed to give children hot dogs because that's the thing they choke on the most. So it really is interesting what we do as parents. But pe moms and dads, Help your child under the age of three in particularly and for the rest of their life to eat better foods, you'll have a child with a higher IQ.